Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to add a legend to a plot created in R. Quite often, two or more groups of observations are displayed on a single plot using different colors, different plotting characters, or different lines to identify each set. We'll discuss how to add a legend to identify these. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already imported the data into R and attached it. We can add a legend to a plot using the legend command. To access the help menu, you can type help and in brackets the name of the command you'd like help for, or simply type the command name in the help search window here. One of our earlier videos showed how to plot multiple groups using different colors and or plotting characters on the plot. We also have a video on subsetting data using square brackets. Taking a look at these videos may be useful in helping you to create the plot we'll create in this video. We will discuss adding a legend to a plot of lung capacity versus age separated for smokers and non-smokers. Now let's go ahead and produce that plot. Here we'll create a plot, plotting the age, taking out those who smoke equals to no, or the non-smokers. We'll plot that against the lung capacity, again subsetting those who smoke is no. We'll add a title to this plot and we'll name it lung capacity versus age for smoke and non-smoke. And finally we'll plot these using the color 4 or blue. You can notice here that the X and Y labels are not very nice. So let's go ahead and redo this plot adding in nicer X and Y labels. Here we can add an X label that is the age, and we can add a Y label, that is the lung capacity. There, that looks a bit nicer. Now, let's go ahead and add the smokers to this plot. To do so, we'll use the points command to add additional points to this plot. Again, we'll plot the age only for those whose smoking value is yes. We'll plot this against the lung capacity. Again, only for those whose smoking value is yes and we'll use the color 2, or red. Now, let's go ahead and add a legend into this plot. We can do so using the legend command. Here, we'll use an x value of 3.5 and a y value of 14. These are the x, y coordinates for the top left corner of the legend box. The legend argument indicates what we'd like to be written as the names in our legend. Here, we will create a character vector the first being non-smoke, and the second label being smoke. We can then use the fill argument. This will tell R to create boxes beside those names, filling them with the colors 4 and then 2 to match the blue and red that we used in our plot. Now, we can see that the plotting characters using these open circles can be a bit difficult to see. So let's redo this plot using different plotting characters. I'm going to go ahead and resubmit that plotting command, although here we're going to tell R to use the plotting character number 16, or the 16th plotting character. We can see that this is a solid circle. Let's go ahead and resubmit those points for the smokers, and we'll use plotting character 17. And we can see that this is a solid triangle. We can also have our legend use these plotting characters instead of the boxes that were previously used. To do so, we can resubmit the legend command, we'll remove this fill argument, we will replace it with a color argument, letting R know the colors to use are 4 and 2, or blue and then red, and in the legend to use plotting characters of 16 and then 17. We can now see when we submit this command, our legend is now using a blue solid circle and a red solid triangle as the plotting characters in the legend. We can also have R create a legend that does not have a box around it. And this is my personal preference for adding a legend. Let's go ahead and resubmit that plot command again. Add in those points. And we can see in the legend command, we have this argument BTY, or box type. If we set this equal to the letter N, this is going to be no box. I personally think that this legend has a much cleaner look to it now. There may be times when you have added lines to your plot 
and you want the legend to use these lines instead of the plotting characters. Let's take a look at doing that. I'm going to go ahead and resubmit this plot command. Again, resubmit this points command. And now let's add some lines to this plot that would be a smooth spline fit to the data. We can add lines to an existing plot using the lines command. Here, I'm going to add a smooth spline. In this video, we're not talking about what splines are. I'm just showing a line that we've added to the plot. Here we'll add a spline through the age for only those whose smoking is no, and the lung capacity, again, only for those whose smoking is no. We'll add this line in with the color four or blue. Now this line may be a bit too thin, and if you'd like to make it thicker, you can do so using the LWD or line width argument. So within that command, we can add the LWD argument, and if we set this equal to three, it's gonna make a line three times the default width. We can see that line is much thicker now. Now let's go ahead and add the line in for the smokers. We're gonna change the color here to two or red, and we're gonna change these to be yes, to indicate a smoker. Now let's add a legend that uses lines instead of the plotting characters. I'll bring up our previous legend command. And here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the plotting character argument, and we're gonna replace that with the LTY, or line type argument. If we set this equal to one, it's gonna use line type one, which is the default line type, these solid lines that we see. And as we saw before, if we would like the lines to be thicker within the legend, we can add this LWD or line width argument into the legend command. Let's put a line width of three to have these lines three times the default width. And finally, in our plot, we may also wish to use different line types for each of the lines. So let's take a look at doing this. I'm gonna resubmit that plot command, resubmit those points again. We're gonna add that line of the smooth spline and here we can add the LTY argument or line type. I'm gonna use line type two. We can see this is a dashed line. And again, let's submit the line for the smoker or the red group. Here, we're gonna use LTY or line type three. Now let's go ahead and resubmit that legend command. And within this command, where we have the line type argument, we're gonna make this equal to a vector with values two and three, indicating the legend should use line type two and then line type three. There's many different reasons you may wish to add a legend to a plot, and these commands we've talked about should help you in figuring out how to add a legend in the way that you would like. There are also other things about the legend that can be changed. You can explore the help menu to learn a bit more about a few of these things. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.